Hey there, budding botanists. I'm Aaron. And I'm Haley. And we're just a couple of backyard botanists, and this is Botany for Kids. So today, as you might have guessed it, we're talking about flowering plants, or angiosperms. And angiosperm just means wrapped up seed, like in a fruit. And remember, fruits come from flowers. Flowers can have all girl parts, or all boy parts, or girl and boy parts. And what that means is that plants can have all girl flowers, or all boy flowers, or boy and girl flowers. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at some flowers. Here we're looking at a flower. The pretty colorful parts of a flower are called the petals. You've probably even heard of petals before. Now outside the petals, we have something called sepals. These keep the petals wrapped up before the flowers bloom. That's those green parts in between the yellow petals. This flower is actually missing a petal. Those green parts keep the petals wrapped up before the flower blooms. Inside the petals, we have boy and girl parts. In the middle, this brown part, is the girl or female part that we call the pistil or carpal. You can think of a pistil or maybe a cowgirl holding a pistil. You could even think of a mom driving in the carpool, like carpal. Surrounding the pistil or carpal are the boy or male parts. There's lots of little boy parts around these girl parts. These are called stamens. Think of telling a group of men to stay, like stay men. And you can see those tiny little yellow things look like little tiny beards. And maybe that can also make you think of stamens. These parts look different on different flowers. Here is another one. These petals are white. The sepals are actually surrounding those petals and you can see here on the same flower, the green parts are those sepals that surround the petals before the flower blooms into this. You can see the girl part in the middle, the pistil or carpal. And surrounding it, those little white things on the outside with the little tiny beards at the end are the stamens. One last one. Here we have the petals. The sepals are those green things in the back. And now here, the stamens are on the outside. They have those little beards on the end. And then the pistil, this one is even much longer than the stamens pointing off to the side here and is even kind of shaped like a pistil. That's the girl part. Flowers are very different from one another. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what's what. So one more time, here are the petals, here are the sepals, sometimes they're easy to see like on the middle flower, and sometimes they're hidden. Here are the girl parts, which are usually in the middle, in flowers that have girl and boy parts. Remember, these are called the carpels or pistils. And then here are the stamens, or the boy parts. So how do we get fruit from flowers? Well, let's zoom in. So at the end of those stamens, those little beard looking things are covered in pollen. And insects or birds, depending on the flower, come by to drink sugar and they get covered in pollen. They carry that pollen to the pistil of another flower. It goes down inside and it makes a seed. And then it turns into a fruit. Back. Okay, so remember, flowers turn into fruit. Fruit can kind of be squishy and have lots of seeds like this apple or an orange, or it can be kind of squishy and have only one seed inside like this, like, 
like this little baby plum off one of our trees. It's very sour. Warning, sour. We call these fleshy fruits. What kind of fleshy fruits do you like? Bananas. Bananas and apparently sour plums. Now fruits can also be kind of not very squishy and pretty hard. We call these dry fruits, yeah. And just like fleshy fruits, dry fruits can have one seed like this nut or like a kernel of corn or like a grain of rice. And even though we may call corn a vegetable or rice a grain, they're actually all different kinds of fruits. Do you like corn? No. You like rice though, I like right? popcorn and rice. Popcorn and rice, that counts, right? And these are actually fruits, okay? So dry fruits can also have lots of seeds too, like in beans, for example, or peas. Now, that's a lot of information, okay? So when you get a chance, grab a responsible adult and head outside and see if you can find some flowers or some flowering plants. See if you can identify the girl parts or the boy parts, and then see if maybe you can come back to the same plant later and see if that flower turned into a fruit. As always, I'm Aaron, and I'm Amy, and this is Botany for Kids. <laughs>